Hello Mzanzi, let us talk about Tato from the Real Housewives of Cape Town. Guys, it's just unfair to conclude that someone is an alcoholic just after a few episodes. Tato and her husband Mohammed got into a fight again in public this time and Roxy was present. So Tato and Roxy went to Havana for drinks and then Mohammed rocked up. Mohammed came and dragged Tato on the floor, dragged her with a wig and she got rescued by the bouncers. Luckily the bouncers were there. If I had not the bouncers be present... We don't know what Mohammed could have done to Tato. So if a fight is escalating in public, you can imagine what happens in private spaces. Yes, Tato is a blubber mouth, but you know, that does not give Mohammed the husband the right to physically assault Tato in public. Worse. So Tato slept at Rox Roxy's place. Um, and Tato is planning on moving out. So she's, pr she's currently looking for a place to rent out. Tato has proven to be fun and very spicy. She is the founder and the CEO of the famous wine brand, Tato Wines. Tato has a diploma in brand communication from Vegas School. She also has a postgraduate in design. And Tato enrolled in the University of Stellenbosch. She did a short course of wine making. On the Little Housewives of Cape Town, Tato is a hit. She addresses issues quickly and has spicy comebacks. There was a misconception about her being being an alcoholic but she said it comes with her being in the industry so guys i just don't think that tato is wiling out because of the wine or because of her industry i just think that tato has personal issues when she fights with everyone because it's clearly mohammed assaulted her in public like can you be sane how can you be happy around people obviously you'll be acting out anyway that's it from me about tato on the real housewives of cape town till i see you again please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel bye bye